Welcome. Another week has passed, and you know what that means. That means that it's time for another Q&A Answers Edition. Ah! So let's just kick it into high gear. First question is by Christopher Mitchell Two. Why does the Canadian flag have a maple leaf on it? The maple leaf is actually a symbol of power for Canadians because the leaf has the tactical capability to blow away in the wind at the first sign of trouble. Question two, do you like to run? And if you do, how long do you normally run for? Yes, I jog regularly with Johnny and I have no idea how long I do it for. I don't even keep track. I pretty much just run anytime I get bored of walking. Next question by Love Lisha. <laughs> Have you played Final Fantasy VII or Chrono Trigger? Yes to both. I used to watch Johnny play them a lot. And when we're actually not making Back to the Future jokes, we're making Chrono Trigger jokes because that game was phenomenal. Both of them were actually. Seriously, who hasn't played them? Question three. Dog Calful. If you were a rich seven-year-old, what would you do? Not to go to schools, get all the consoles, or make a time machine? Anything! Watch the Richie Rich movie. That's pretty much the answer. Amethyst Snowflake. Do you ever think that the flying bananas will take over the world and that the potatoes will have to fight them with their overpowered cucumber swords? Causing the great cosmic cow war of the space banditos. Um. Uh. Daggerwang THG. If you had to get a cheeseburger across the globe, but you only had half the time it would take to travel with there, what, what would you do? Because I would make a chemical that dissolved through the earth and crushed up the lava so I could just jump uh, to the other side. Uh, but then, like, by the rules of the game, by the time I would get through, it would have blown up on me and covered me in lava. I'd buy a portal gun from eBay. I would shoot the orange portal in my house and the blue one into outer space. My house becomes a black hole! Profit! Elfie Miller! What's the best game you've played? Like ever? If I was looking at nostalgia sake and stuff like that, I would probably say Grand Theft Auto 3. I'd always played Grand Theft Auto 2, which had a top-down camera for those who don't know, and I always wished that it would go to 3D, and when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, it was like a dream come true for me. I always wanted it to be 3D because I could never see where I was going. Z yay bah. Tacos! Okay, what do you plan on doing when you're <laughs> extremely famous? Thanks, man, you rock. I'm not sure. Maybe use my influence to share some ideas I have to improve YouTube? I'd also like to improve my production value with higher quality costumes. Get a green screen behind me so that I could appear in the game. Make my own website so that I could have everything kind of streamlined into it so that everything could just be more focused. Because overall, YouTube's interface is pretty confusing, man. It's Google, right? Just stuff like that, pretty much. The only thing I'm really lacking right now, just personally in my work, is proper customer support from YouTube. And that's just because I'm so small time that they don't care. But I'm really hoping that soon I'll hit the next level up that they actually start taking my, you know, comments more seriously when I say, hey, what are you guys doing? Help me out. I'm working harder than you. John Pardo. Are you going to play Smash 4? Definitely! I'm gonna do a full series with my brother Johnny, and there's a lot of modes in the game that actually allow cooperative play, so you can expect that series to drag out. Steven, yee! Hey, I'm taking her out. Are you gonna play Far Cry 4 or Assassin's Creed Unity multiplayer campaign? I don't know if I'll play Far Cry 4 just because those games are extremely adult themed. If I could play it co-op with Johnny, that might be a whole other story, but we don't really have any way of doing that, so yeah. As for Assassin's Creed Unity, I've been getting quite a few requests on that one, so most likely I'll end up playing it, but I'm probably gonna wait till it's on PC or something.
It's not a priority. Legend Jet. Legend Jet. Legend Jet. Are you ever going to play the Evil Within? Call of, or Call of Duty? I might play Evil Within for a Freaky Friday in the future. But I've never really been into Call of Duty. Look at those mods. What's the country you want to go most when you can travel and stuff? Japan. Definitely Japan. Michelle Lydia. What's your favorite dish? <laughs> I know you don't wear glasses. I'm just making fun of myself. I like the stoneware deep dish pie plate cranberry. The cranberry color one at pamperedchef.com. Paper plates are also cool for a dish too. I love how they can barely hold your hot dog up from falling. Seriously though, I like pizza, steak, my favorite food is usually Chinese though. Baron Saturday. It's Saturday, no, it's actually Sunday. Have you considered playing games with your fans? Yeah. Hmm, that's a tough one. On one hand, it's a kind of lame answer to say that when I'm playing games, I don't consider playing them alone. But honestly, we try our best to do that as often as we can. When we do our Mario Kart streams and stuff like that, we always have people from the community and all the fans and stuff coming and hanging out. And that's always a lot of fun for us. Otherwise, for the most part, it's just because a lot of games are very inconvenient for me to play on my off time as well as being able to play with people, you know what I mean? I work pretty hard, honestly, and I spend m the majority of my time recording and just working and stuff like that, especially now that my production has moved up to so many daily videos and stuff like that. But honestly, if you want to play a game together, chances are get into Trove, because that game I am playing as a main series right now, which means that I'm on it a lot more regular than I am with like things like Minecraft and stuff like that. So there's a much higher probability of us r finding each other and hanging out. Legend Jet says again, what's your Xbox gamer tag? And Tegnarod's pretty much everything. The one good thing about having such a unique, weird name is that I usually end up getting it. That's all the questions for this week. If I missed one of your questions, I'm sorry about that, but YouTube does mess up with its comments and stuff quite a bit since all this Google Plus stuff happened. I know that happened a long time ago, but hey. Be sure to save your questions for next week and don't comment on this video with questions. You can comment with other stuff if you want to for sure. I always end up reading it all, but save your questions for next week's questions edition of the Q&A and then the following week after that, we'll have another answers one. Have a fantastic week. I'm looking forward to the many videos that we have coming out, and I hope all of you are too. This week, quite a few things happen. Lego Batman 3 comes out, so Johnny and I are going to be starting that as a series. And this Friday, I want to use this video to officially announce it, our live stream is going to be, well, I can't really say a time because we never really know, but we are going to be doing the Mario Kart Zelda DLC, so hopefully everyone's going to be able to make it out for that. Bria bidia bidia. That's all folks. Thanks for watching Sayonara and Stay epic Team Pixel. Believe.